So what was it like to see all these characters collide for the first time in the MCU on Avengers Infinity War? Come on, can we tell you everything? This is theatrical, so this is... No. Don't say anything. It's pretty this awesome is... to see this yeah. collective, isn't it? I mean, just to be a part of it, a tiny little square in the massive mosaic of it all. It's like, it's you amazing. couldn't fit any more people on that poster. Not without it and being bigger. And everyone deserves to be there, you know? And everyone has fought for their place in the MCU, and it's crazy to me that this film is actually happening, that they actually pulled this off. I remember yeah. when they were talking about it. Yeah. On Spider-Man Homecoming, a lot of the prep for this film was happening, and Kevin was pitching me ideas about what we are going to do. And I remember being like, there's no way they're going to make that movie. No. It sounds just too crazy. And then here we are. Yeah, and, and also doing two back-to-back. -back. Oh, dude. And the struggle they had with my availability, let alone everyone's the availability. The Russo brothers are the real heroes yeah. in this movie. Superheroes. Yeah. That's nice, that's nice. Uh, what was the most fun about on screen or off screen making this film? Uh, on screen was just the camaraderie, just to be yeah. amongst that group of actors playing these kind of ridiculously iconic roles. To step onto s the set with Spider-Man and Tom and to step onto the set with Iron Man and RDJ and, and, and Pratt as, as Star Wars. I mean, just all of it, just really good fun. And I was very excited to sort of have a goatee to goatee with the other sociopathic uh, ego maniac, um, you know. Uh, so that, it's, that was great fun. Sparks fly. There's yeah. good conflicts and humor to be had there. From the trailer, it looks like you two have... You can get uh, your answer. Sorry. Oh, That's sorry. right. Uh, you can uh, get um, your generic answer. Okay. Uh, what was the question? Most... Uh, uh, fun. Most fun. fun. On, on or off. Do you know what's actually really cool? I recently, for the first time, went to Disneyland in China, and Joe Russo took me on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. And it's like you basically are in a boat and it takes you through an experience of Pirates of the Caribbean. And that is the closest reminder to what it's like being on set of Avengers. Because I'm watching franchises. Well, but if you think about oh, it, there was a lot of sets, you know. We had yeah, yeah, loads yeah, we of massive spaceship to, sets yeah, and stuff. And the guys who built those sets are Amazing. true artists. And, you know, I'm on yeah. set working with Charlie people Woods. in franchises Charlie that Woods. I've grown up watching. Charlie. And I felt like I was just a sort of spectator in a sort of really awesome sort of virtual reality. Yeah, it's true. It does feel sort of otherworldly. It's, yeah. it's, it's, all, it's all, all pervasive. They, they, they recreated, it's no spoiler because it's in the trailer, the um, atrium, the sort of entryway, the hallway to the Sanctum Sanctorum in New York. Yeah. And it's just like they kind of got the flat pack out and just did it. But it's like, you know, it's four stories high, dude. It's like huge, circular, beautiful thing with a massive staircase and all this ornate kind of... Yeah sort of shift between mid-century and oh, all sorts of different architectural influences. But anyway, Charlie Wood is a genius, and you do, I guess, like that fun fair ride. You you stand in it, and you're like, oh, God, I'm actually having the real experience yeah. of a real environment where they can swing the camera 360 degrees. And there's one sequence in particular we did, um, stepping out of that, which was, I mean, I, yeah, I just, I remember doing the first take, and I, I don't think I was acting for any of it. I was just giggling like a school child. I was just yeah. like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is actually happening. Um, but I, I won't say what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, okay, you will save it for the, when people get to see it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Old school. Um, from the trailer, it looks like the two of you have some fun interaction, banter. Uh, what was it like working together? Oh, exhausting. It was tiring, man. You know, Benning's a real diva, and... <laughs> she says. <laughs> Um, <laughs> oh, Tom, Tommy, Tommy's his hair doing again, does he? Right. I had a lot of it. I was oh, making two films at once, right? And in the, we were making two films together at the Pomard. same time. <laughs> two syllables, one word. Pa, mad. <laughs> and Hair's in great. the film that we were making together in London, I had a very old oh, school did? haircut yeah, where I had did. those were, three curls, was like up this, in curlers first and then thing a in the massive morning. swoop. So then I got to Avengers <laughs> and they were like, we want to cut your hair. And I felt really passionately about the London project, project. And I said, well, guys, listen, if there's any way we can work around not cutting my hair because I don't want to jeopardize my work in London, they said, sure, we'll just make it that Spider-Man has really long hair. So in this film, I have the most ridiculously quaffed, <laughs> stupid haircut of all time. I was actually joking, but that is a lot revealed about your hair. If Spoilers. in the tray, I saw it in the trailer. I was like, Generic "Oh, that just it. looks ridiculous." I look no. like Prince Charming. I look like I've got some weird flowing. There's an audience. There's a very big Disney audience that will like that. 
Yeah, and you might get an endorsement. Sorry, I just went on a real run. Maybe I'll do like a L'Oreal commercial or something <laughs> after this film comes out. That sounds amazing. Um, <laughs> it, does. it does. It really does. I, I'm not going to be distracted when I watch. Sorry, the I know, I know. Not be distracted when I watch. It's the film. great I'm just fun. Be it's great fun. I, we got to know each other for two films. We had a blast, and it's just so nice yeah. to have someone you know on set, and someone you can trust, and. Uh, it, it's it's as good for the craft as it is for the banter and just yeah. having a nice relaxed time doing it, you know. So yeah. <laughs> can't wait, can't wait to see it. Uh, have your characters changed since we've last seen them in your films? Mm -hmm. you go first. Uh, I think this takes place quite soon after Spider-Man: Homecoming, and because we are all have such finite amount of work in these films, because there's so many of us. I wanted to save the real growth of my character for future movies where I can really explore it and sort of display it to audiences in a broader way rather than trying to rush something in this film. So the version of Spider-Man you see here is very similar to the one that's in Homecoming. I'd say that's sort of the same, except I guess, I've well, I've learned to do some cool stuff. I'm a little bit more adept at my craft and we might have to retro-engineer that a little bit, but um, Desperate Times call for new tricks. And what's the other thing I'd say? Yeah, he's more the adult in the room, a little bit, I'd say. Than, than before because he was learning a very on a very steep curve um, and yeah. taking on a lot of responsibility and weirdness that yeah any of us would balk at so yeah I, he, he's a little bit more in control yeah lastly if you can both give me a quick sound bite on working with the Russo brothers oh, just brilliant I admire them so much the fact that they're Amazing. brothers and their parents come on set and that that whole thing blew yeah it's mind. just so cool um, they're brothers and yet they are different and manage to work with each other and it's it's phenomenal. It's a really amazing thing to be around. I like having to impress two people rather than one to move <laughs> on. Double the motivation. You know, when you work it's on true. a film, you have to just get the director on side and then you move on. In this case, you have to do it twice. And they and they cross pitch and the, you know yeah, they, they, so they don't cool. always agree. They're like, I don't know, we should try that. No, I don't. I like what. No, but let's, let's just try. We got time, and they know what they want as well. That's the other thing. And when they've got it, they're so confident about it. And that's. That's a very sexy way to make films. Oftentimes you're just covering your back with loads of setups, loads of takes, and mm. I'm like, no, it's this shot, that's the beat, let's go for it. Oh, we got it after three takes, excellent, done. But really, you know, sometimes it's for awesome. me, but it's just so. And they're both great guys, too. Yeah. Like what polymaths? I mean, they've got their fingers in a lot of pies. Yeah. Um, Agbo, they just set up their own studio, Agbo. Yeah. 